All right, search is over. We found ourselves a clean, a mint. Look at that, mint PSST. I'm pumped about it. It has some rattles because it has some very aggressive uh, motor mounts on it. But I guess we'll have to live with that. She has 97,000 kilometers on it. Ooh, for you uh, Americans out there, that is approximately 50 to 55,000 miles. So good mileage on it. It's in mint condition. We got no rust, no body damage, no accidents. We got the Recaros. Oh, if only it wasn't Canada and it wasn't snowing today because I would be out ripping her. But uh, I'm probably gonna end off this video here tonight and pick up tomorrow morning when I can actually drive it without getting in an accident from the ice. But I am pumped. I got this car for a great deal. I've been looking at Fiestas for several months now and I finally got one I really liked. And I decided to go with the green. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know the actual, so I don't know the actual name for this color, but I don't know why. I, I was I was originally looking for a black Fiesta ST, but something about this green color is just so quirky. Should I say that? Is that the word? It's quirky. It's fun. Kind of reminds me of like a Huracan green. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the Lambo doors installed. We'll see. Unfortunately, um, we have some nice rubber and obviously the, the stock Fiesta ST tires in the trunk here. They were actually on it today, but the owner had to swap them to the ste winter steelies because of the snow. Really sad about that because I'm going to have to wait an entire season now um, to see it with some actual nice tires on. But that's the way she goes in Canada here. Um, but yeah, I got about an hour to drive home and I will pick up tomorrow morning. drive here uh own the car for a couple days now i filmed some some footage at the car wash and I actually did another video yesterday but i didn't have my gopro mounted right so i wanted to redo it just to get a better idea what i'm actually doing i had it tilted too high so you're just staring at the roof but that's all right so i've owned this car for a couple days now this is only like the third time driving it maybe fourth and so far it is everything as advertised and I am not surprised in the slightest. Uh, I watch every single Fiesta video on YouTube before buying this and you know, there's a very consistent message, or a very consistent message when people are talking about this, very consistent viewpoint and that this thing is just a blast to drive. Uh, I just, one sec here guys actually i want to give this guy some room this is a really fun corner i'm just gonna stop for a second of course it's a ford i've been living in some nicer quality vehicles the past couple years and so this car has a lot more shakes and rattles than i'm typically used to but you know what the, the fun factor pays off it, it it's okay okay let's do this corner make sure we're all good here tires and steelies on and it's just it handles it so well so i am beyond excited to get my extra tires on here and for it not to be winter and i actually ordered some pirelli snow tires and i'm gonna sub i, I have steelies on right now uh i ordered some pirelli i forgot what they're called i'll have to i'll flash it on screen right now but i'm gonna put those on the actual oem fiesta rims and i'm gonna buy some you know, maybe a two-piece or whatever wheel set next year. I was looking at a couple nice ones and use the OEM wheels for my winter tires just so I don't have to look at steelies, which just kills me because they're god awful, ugly. No offense, steely buddies. Well, yeah, I've owned this car for a couple of days now, and man, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Let's do a pull here. Give these guys a little bit more room. Some back roads. Some torque steer. Yeah. <laughs> I miss my 
GTI and so this car is just the perfect replacement. I couldn't be more happier. It's The GTI was all refined, it was nice, but this car is way more fun. They're way more engaged. It's a blast. And honestly guys, I think I have an issue. I was thinking about the other day. I'm now like 23 and I've owned like eight or nine cars. My first car was a Honda Del Sol, blue. Unfortunately, uh, it wasn't manual, but I still had a blast in it. I ended up selling that, buying my first manual car, which was a 1997 Honda Prelude. I loved that car. It was just a beater, but it was a blast. It had a full uh, AEM air intake, cold air intake, so it made some good VTEC noises. But I, I eventually got tired of how beat that car was and the oil leaks, so I ended up buying a Cobalt SS Supercharged. In my opinion, a very underrated car, you know? If, unless you're gonna own like a Hellcat today, there's not many options for owning a supercharged car, like that at least, the, you know, an actual quote unquote performance car. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna turn around here. Got a good turning radius on this guy compared to the Crosstrek and the Forerunner. Uh, anyways, at the Cobalt, I actually love that car. I put on a cold air intake and oh my God, that thing screamed. That thing just screamed, it was a blast. Um, horrible handling, but in a straight line, it made some funny, some fun noises. After that car, I sold that and bought a 2004 Blabi WRX, WRX. I get roasted all the time for my pronunciation on that. I don't know why. WRX, is that, is that better? That one blew up. Silver lining though. It's the reason why I started this channel. If you go back to my first videos, I was rebuilding it. I ended, the, the timing belt actually seized on that bad guy. Bad guy, I guess. Yeah, it is a bad guy. The timing belt seized, and so I had to import a new engine from Japan. I rebuilt it with my dad. Luckily, thank, well, thank God he's a mechanic. Well, it was a mechanic. So I actually ended up making profit on that car. That car gave me nightmares, so I sold it. I bought an 8th, 2007 8th Gen Civic Si, a blast, an absolute blast. I ended up getting a puppy though, and I couldn't really handle the coop nature, because I, I wanted to give him his own window, he's a golden retriever. It's only fair to give my guy his own window. And so I sold that, bought a Mark V GTI. Loved that car. This is a great comparison to this car, I'd say, the Fiesta uh, and GTI, but I like this car more and it's not even close. This car is just way more engaging, way more fun. You know, it has similar uh, power figures, but you feel the power. You, uh, I mean, obviously this one's way more lightweight, so I'm guessing that's why, and way more dramatic, but you, you just have a lot more fun in this car. So I had the GTI, I sold that because I bought one of my dream vehicles, which was a Toyota 4Runner. I loved that car. I had a blast with it. You know, here in Canada, we live by the mountains, can't see them right now, but um, I took that car to the mountains, beautiful, I'll probably show some clips right now rolling. I crossed the goddamn river, not good for the environment, but I had to do it once, it was awesome. But I ended up wanting to buy a house, so it was only the correct thing to do, I'm still a student, and so I sold that and downgraded, downgraded to a 2016 Subaru Crosstrek so I could put more money down on my house, which I did that. I don't really regret it because, you know, I like my house. So I had my <laughs> Crosstrek. I love that car. I still have it. I'm going to be making, making some videos on it soon. Uh, I bought a roof rack and stuff I'm going to do a review on. And then I got really sad that I didn't have a fun to drive sports car. And so I bought the Fiesta SD and baby, the one turn here in Alberta on this road, it's coming. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. I love it a lot. I love the color. I love the seats. 
I love everything about it. Now, the one annoying part about this car is it's not annoying at all because the pros definitely way out, outweigh the cons here. But the previous owner put on some performance engine mounts because if you know about PSSTs, because these guys have so much low end torque, they are a big, they suffer a lot from wheel hop. And so just getting motor mounts really helps with that. It almost eliminates it. It helps eliminate torque steer. Not that it was too bad anyways. And it also makes shifting a bit better. Yeah. Oh, the turbo noise is... Yes. So it has that, you know, it has a lot of pros, but the cons are just really, really annoying. This car vibrates, it shakes on idle. It feels like it's about to blow up. No, it doesn't feel like it's gonna blow up, but you can just, it feels like it's uh, like an old V8 car and the way it kind of, it feels like it's kind of rumbling when you're on idle. And because of that, because it's a Ford, you're gonna hear all the broke, oh, not all the broken stuffs, but you're gonna hear all the little rattles a bit more. So that's a bit annoying considering I've, I've had a couple really, you know, solid cars in the past that didn't have any, sh any shakes or rattles. I've never even been over here. I don't even know where I am. See, there's a car wash, so that's nice. But I would say the engine mounts outweigh the pecans, but that is actually the only mod on this car. And I am very excited to start doing some mods because it's a great aftermarket for these guys. I have some plans. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should do first, Comment down below. I'd love to know. Love to hear some feedback. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for more videos. I am actually, I'm so pumped about this car. It's, you know, I was looking between it. Uh, I'll talk about why I bought this in another video, but first impressions, great. I'm gonna go get some donuts and coffee. See you guys.